Good day to you. I noticed the targets. Are you an archer by any chance? I notice you're asking questions. Are you the Inquisition by any chance? No, I'm Henry of Scalitz. From Scalitz? I'm Vatek from here. Why are you so curious about the targets? It's just that I sometimes try my hand at archery too. Try your hand, do you? <laughs> I know plenty who do. When you can score as high as me at chumps, then I might be impressed. I've got no idea what you're talking about. Never played chumps? And you call yourself an archer? All right, Henry, listen up. Chumps is a game for real archers. It tests your strength, stamina, and accuracy. And it can be a nice little earner. Unless you're, well, a chump. So what exactly is it? I'll tell you. A bunch of logs are floated down the river. Then you count to 20, and the archers run along the banks after the logs. At the end of the course, someone collects all the logs and counts the strikes. Whoever has the most, always meaning me, wins the bout. Each archer has 20 arrows with their own colored fletching, and the contest ends when the last log floats through the finish line. Sounds like good fun. Fun? My friend, it will bring you out in a proper sweat, and you'll be well pleased to hit just one or two blocks. So how about it then? Fancy a bout? You'll need your own bow, but I'll supply the arrows with colored fletching. Absolutely. Come on, then. Ah, one more chump. Excellent. Now you have to bet at least ten groschen, fifty at most. There'll be three archers competing at the time. The winner gets triple his wager and the second gets his coin back. So how much will you bet? No half measures. What's there to say for, anyway? That's the betting over with. Now here are your errors. God be with you. Jesus, it's not as shallow as it looks. Almost had it. Ah, well, I won't miss the next one. Hit! <laughs> Bloody hell, the wind took it. Another on target. Damn, missed. Hit home. Hit. Almost had. Hit home. Oh, well, I won't miss the next. One. Another on target. I won't miss the next. I've got this easy. Got it. Got it.
Bloody hell, the wind took it. Time's up, folks. One last arrow and that's it. Oh, well, I won't miss the next one. Got it! So, how did it go? Well done, Henry. You've come first. It looks like you really do know what you're doing with a bow. You're still not up to my standard, mind you, but a pretty good effort. Here are your winnings. I hope you'll wager them on some chumps again. I'm looking for a fellow called Riki. Do you know him? You mean Hinnick? He's the tanner's son, isn't he? Any idea where I could find him? I don't know. Try at his folks house, but he doesn't spend much time there. So you know this Hinnock. Can you tell me something about him? Not much, I confess. Most of the village folk avoid him like the plague. Why is that? <laughs> no one with a nose likes spending too much time around tanners. And that Riki keeps bad company. I've never heard a good word said about him. What can you tell me about the old courier? He's as cantankerous as a hog in a thorn bush. He won't talk to anyone. Why do they call Hinek Riki anyway? He's a tanner, isn't he? If you're ever downwind of him, you'll understand. Tanning isn't a trade for the weak of stomach. True enough. But not every courier gets cursed with a name like that. Well, Hinek's nature's no sweeter than his smell. Why has he got such a bad name? Hmm. Well... Like his old man, he doesn't talk much to anyone. And then he's always skulking off somewhere. I heard he got a taste of the pillory in Ratai for thieving. And in Neuhof, he got boozed up in the alehouse with his cronies and they beat up some merchants. So a bit more than high spirits. Just so. We're all honest folk here and we've no use for the likes of him. Don't tell me there's not a single person who talks to him. He's been seen around with one of the bathhouse wenches. Adela, I believe she's called. Farewell. Yeah. God grant you health. I heard you've been seeing Hinek, the tanner's son. So what? What? Come to preach at me, have you? That I'm a loose woman, a what? sinner, Show that I yourself. seduce decent men? Who is it? God, no, nothing like that. It's just that you're the only one in the village who sees Hinek, so I came to ask you about him. Aye, I've seen him often enough. But I don't know what I could tell you about him. Where can I find Hinek? I haven't seen him in the village for a few days. He must have run off to the woods again. Does he do that often? From time to time. What the hell does he get up to there? I... I don't know. Look, Hinek's my friend and I really need to know where he is and what he's doing. But I already told you I don't know where he's got to. So I suppose he just goes to the woods to pick mushrooms, does he? Mushrooms? No. More like... Hares, or other game. So Hinnick is a poacher? That's no surprise. Well, he was never much of one for an honest trade. Do you know exactly where he goes? Maybe he has some favourite spot he might have told you about? He said he has some hideout in the woods, but he didn't tell me where. When did you last see him? A few days ago. He came to me late in the evening, drunk. And that was unusual? I never saw him drink much. He always came to me sober. So he was acting strangely that evening? He was strange. I had the feeling he was afraid of something. He kept prattling on and didn't seem to care about... you know what. 
so I threw him out and I haven't seen him since. Can you remember anything he said that evening? Oh, oh I'm not sure. He went on about some fellow called Lubosch who died. That he was regretting he ever got into it, but he never said what it was. And that it wasn't worth it for the money. Aye, and then he was talking about the money. That was very odd. What did he say about the money? Just that he had a pile of it hidden behind his house. I see. What did you say to that? What could I say? He was drunk. He kept saying I was a fine girl and other harlots wouldn't go with him even for money. And if I wanted, I could even take half the money and leave. Or he'd go with me and we could get married and such. Oh, just poppycock. May the Lord watch over you. I hope I can be of some humble service to you. I'm looking for your son. Any idea where he might be? I don't know nothing. Don't you at least know where he usually goes? It's important. Hinek shows up at home once in a blue moon, so I don't know nothing about where he gets to. Even if I did, why would I tell every Tom, Dick and Harry? Watch your tongue, peasant. I'm an envoy of Sir Radzik Kabila, and this is an official investigation. Stop trying to put me off and tell me where your son is right now. I apologise if I offended you, young man. But still, I don't know where Hinek is. He turned up at the house a while back, but then he vanished again in a hurry. And you don't know where he went? Uh What? <sighs> Look, it's been clear to me for a long time that my boy was headed for the gallows. But I'm still his father, right? And you can't expect me to rat on my own son. If you value your son's life at all, you better pray I find him. Because I'm not the only one looking for him. That's no surprise. But what of it? If you're here on behalf of Sir Radzik, there's nothing waiting for Hinnick but the gibbet. It doesn't have to be that way. If Hinnick cooperates, he can save his neck. I can't say you put my mind at ease. But to hell with it. I'll tell you what I know. All right. He was here a few days ago, but he left right away. He looked like... like he was in a hurry. And you don't know where he went? I've got an idea, but I don't know where it is exactly. I don't follow. Hinek makes some money on the side from poaching. He boasted to me a few times about what a great hideout he found in the woods. But he never told me where it is. Well, it's not much to go on, but it's better than nothing. Thank you. Go. And if he's really in as much shit as you say, please. What the hell do
Jesus Christ, what am I to do? Not that I can expect any use from advice from you. At least, you have no more cares. Need someone to talk to? Fuck! Don't, don't kill me! I, I can explain! I won't tell anyone. I swear, I've no one to tell anyway. Just please don't kill me. I'm not planning to kill you. You're, you're not one of Runt's men? No. Huh. Then who are you? I come here in the name of Sir Radzik Kabila and Sir Hanish of Lipa. I'm investigating the raid on the Neuhof stud farm. I've got no idea what you're on about. I'll save your breath. If you want any chance to escape the gallows, you'd better come clean, all right? Jesus Christ. This will never be over. So? Fine, then. That Neuhof raid of yours didn't turn out quite as planned, did it? Depends on whose plan you're talking about. We were up to it to grab some loot and bugger off. Only Runt's cutthroats was there to shed blood. What do you mean, Runt's cutthroats? There were two gangs there. Mine and Runt's. We was only there to steal, but they wanted to slaughter everyone. But when you realised what they had in mind, you didn't have to go along with it, did you? But we didn't know nothing, even though we were going to Neuhof. They told us to keep watch on the courtyard while they were cutting the horses' throats. Jesus, that fucking vexed me. Their horses was the most valuable thing there. When I spoke up, though, Runt gave me such a bollocking I knew I'd better keep my mouth shut. And when they said we was going to kill anything that moved, then we knew there was no going back. That gang of yours, what can you tell me about them? Don't know what you want to know. There was four of us. Me, Timmy, Limpy Lubosh, and Pius Pava. Sometimes we'd rob a place or hold up pilgrims. Never nothing fancy. I'm sure you did mischief enough. Who led you? Pius. He was the oldest and he'd mostly find the jobs for us. Plan them and the like. He got us into that fucking mess in Neuhof too. What about the others? Timmy's strong as an ox with a brain to match. You got more sense out of a fence post. And Limpy. I've been with him the longest. He's my one and only friend, I suppose. Who got your two gangs together? You must have made contact somehow, right? Pius. He comes to us and says he's got this prime job. We're gonna rob a farm, he says. That was a big deal, because mostly we just did small stuff. A hold up on the road now and then, nothing fancy. When they told us how much we could make on it, well, we just couldn't refuse. So Pius knew them? I suppose, but I don't know where from. We even got paid up front. I should have known from the start it was too good to be true. Where did the rest of your gang end up? You saw Limpy, right? Yes, but he's no use to me now. Tell me where I can find Pius or Timmy. I don't know nothing about Pius. He vanished in the woods, and I haven't seen him since. Timmy, I reckon, went back to the mill where he works. Which mill? The windmill a bit north of Neuhof. Did you know any of Runt's people? Not a one. They didn't talk to us at all. None of their faces was familiar either. The only thing I know is they called that huge chief of theirs Runt, and Pius warned us to watch out for him. I don't suppose you know where they got to after the raid? On the way to Neuf, Timmy told me he was at their camp with Pius. I reckon that's where they've gone now. Did Timmy tell you where the camp is? Somewhere in the woods. He didn't say nothing more. Thing is, Timmy's got quite an imagination. But Pius roared at him to shut it, so I reckon there must be something in it. Tell me exactly how the raid went down. Um, well, we stormed in from the rear. Runt's people started slaughtering the horses. Jesus, that was bleeding horrible. Meanwhile, me and Limpy had a sniff round the stables to see if we could find anything worth pilfering. And in the end, we got lucky. What did you find? Smill, Sir Hanish's groom. I don't know why he was up and what he was doing in the stables, but... 
We took advantage of the situation. Limpy grabs him by the throat and I slapped him round to encourage him to tell us where the money was. Then it all fell apart at the seams. Quicker than you'd believe, Runt comes running up and skewers the groom like a pig for roasting. My jaw dropped. I thought the stuff about killing was just tough talk. And it wasn't? No, not in the least. What happened then? I'm gaping at smell, stuck through and through, and I noticed this boy standing at the other end of the stables. The stupid sods pointing at us, jaw hanging down to his knees, saying, I know you. Run turns to us and hisses. Take him down. So me and Lubosh start running, because the lad took to his heels. At the same time, we could hear the noise of the skirmish in the courtyard. We caught up with the boy at the next farmhouse. I knock him to the ground, but he bashes me with some piece of iron so hard my head's ringing like a fucking church bell. Limpy grabs it off him and stands over him, with his bodkin in his hand, and I start praying. In the end, Limpy just gives him a kick and says, Beat it, Ginger. And then Runt shows up at the gate and hollers that we gotta go, so we scarp it. What happened after the raid? We were waiting for that fool, Timmy. Same place as we met them before, so he'd know where we were, right? Stupid fucking idea. But Pius didn't want to leave him behind. Only when Timmy finally turned up. Two of Runt's men were dragging him. There was some difference of opinion? You could say that, yeah. They started on us right away that we were traitors. They knew we'd let somebody get away, and now we were going to pay for it. They started trying to surround us, and we knew what was coming. Limpy took his bodkin and let that fucker have it in the belly. Runt. One of the others. Timmy broke free from them and we all took to our heels. Luckily they were so bucket from the raid they didn't follow us for long. They just shouted that they'd find us. That's all I need to know. So now what do I do with you? Well... people. We've got to get out of here. They're too close. We'll never outrun them. Fuck! At least they don't know I'm here. The two of us can take them by surprise. No fucking way. I'm gone. Look here. If you run, they'll catch up with you and kill you. And me too. Together, we stand a better chance. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right. I suppose you're right. Who's there? What's that? What are you hey. doing? <laughs> Come on, then, old son. You were dead. Oh, God. I've got some more questions. What? You're coming with me. Sir Radzig and Sir Hanish will want to hear what you've got to say. Don't suppose there's any chance you might turn a blind eye? Why should I? I didn't do nothing all that bad, and I told you everything I know. You can tell them yourself, and leave me here. And in a few weeks, I'll pack up and clear off. It might be best if you disappeared. You're no use to me anymore anyway. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'll remember this till the day I die. Best just try living honestly. I'll do my best. I promise.
Rockefeller. That's my boy. Look what I've got for you. You'll love that. I'm at your service, Sir Knight. Do you know Timmy? He's a big man and, um... A complete numbskull? Aye. He works here. Or he used to. I'm not sure. He vanished a few days ago. As far as I know, no one's seen him since. But try asking his sister, Mirka. She works here, too. God be with you. I'm looking for a Colossus by the name of Timmy. I heard he works here. I don't know anyone like that. All the others know him, so how come you don't? All right, but not here. We'll talk round the back, behind the mill. Here I am. So, why all the secrecy? What do you want from Timmy? Can you tell me where to find him? Promise me nothing will happen to him. Why do you care so much? He's my brother. He's not very smart, you see. And he's always getting led astray by his no-good friends. And now there's some right peculiar characters looking for him. Who are they? I don't know. But they look like cutthroats. And they said some strange things, but I didn't tell them anything. That's good. But sooner or later they'll find him anyway. Tell me where he is and I'll take care of him. He's hiding at the Colburn farm over by Merhoyed. The feeling you're looking for someone here. I'm looking for someone too. Maybe we could help each other. Hmm. And who are you looking for? A great big ox by the name of Timmy. That's interesting. I'm also looking for a big ox called Timmy. Well, what are the chances? Could it be the same fellow, I wonder? Now, if someone were to tell me where to find Timmy, I might offer that man a job. We could use a smart fellow like that at the camp. 
You have an encampment somewhere? Well, sure we do. And no shortage of coin if you're ready to earn it. Where is it? Ha! All in good time. First proof we can trust you. Help us find Timmy. I've no idea where he is. I reckon I'll have to try my luck elsewhere. That wench didn't tell you anything. Um, she didn't say anything. Oh, yeah. Stop messing around and spit it out. All right. I'll tell you where he is. Really? Why would you do that? We're all Christians here, aren't we? Why not help thy neighbour? Especially if he pays two score groschen. Ha! <laughs> you wouldn't be my cousin by any chance. I'll give you two dozen, no more. Half now, and half when we find him. Deal. Oh, you don't know when to give up, do you? The one who has the upper hand does as he pleases. Boy. True. Only you don't have the upper hand. What have we got here? And just... I'll slaughter you! Oh. Mm. Ah. Yeah. Bring it on. Thunder! <laughs> Is that the best you can do? <laughs> Good boy. That's my boy. Look what I've got. You'll love this.
Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Timmy. How are you today? I'm all right. Uh, have we met? We have now. Huh? Oh, shit. What do you want? It wasn't me. I didn't... I mean... Shit. I saw what you did at Neuhof. What are you talking about? You weren't there. I mean, I wasn't there. Don't waste your breath. You were there with Limpy Lubosch and Riki. I heard all about it. What do you want from me? Your mate Hinek told me about a whole camp full of those horse huns. And I want to find it. I need to find it. Yeah, but... But why should I trust you, though? I'm not stupid. You might be one of them. Pretending to not be one of them. Trying to catch me out. I won't tell you nothing. Why would I be trying to catch you out? For Christ's sake, man, they crucified Limpy Lubosh and Ujits. What the hell are you trying to pull here? Shit, 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 shit. What will I do? Shit. I don't know where their camp is. That's a load of horse shit. Hinek told me you were there, and that Pius wanted you to keep your mouth shut. You must know something. Well, once I was there with them, yeah. Only, I was pretty drunk, so I'm not too sure. Try to remember. It was in the woods. In some kind of woods. You know, with uh, trees and stuff. There were some wrecked houses there and all. In the woods. A, a church! There was a church there. Kind of a broken one, though. Oh, great. Thanks a lot. Now it's all clear to me. Do you remember which way you went? It was straight north from Townberg. When you go uphill from the castle, there's a path there round some barns, I think. It leads to the woodcutter's camp. If you go further on past the woodcutters, you come across this abandoned house. Can't miss it. Looks like a house, only abandoned. Go to the left there and carry on till you come to this clearing with a big beech tree. Or was it an oak? Uh, you go left there again. There's this narrow path and you go straight along there. Sometimes it splits up. You just keep to the left 
until you come to a crossroads by this big flat rock. You keep straight on there. After a while, you'll see a bridge. And it's right there. Easy as you please. Better than nothing, I suppose. But you won't tell nobody about Neuhoff, right? You promised. Oh no, bugger. I meant to make you promise, but I forgot. No, don't worry. But in future, find some other way to make money. Like honest work? Thanks. I'll, I'll try. On account of my sister, at least. That girl at the windmill? Hi, Mirka. Did you talk to her? What did she say? She told me you're as thick as a fence post and always getting dragged into some mischief. Did she? Yeah, she's probably right. God be with you. Good to see you, lad. Sir Hanush told me you won his tourney. Good job, Henry. I have some news about the investigation, sir. Good. Tell me. The trail leads to Ujits. I found out one of the bandits is from there. A fellow they call Limpy Lubosh. I see. What else? I went to Ujit, where they told me I could find Lubosh. Only someone had murdered him. It seems they're trying to cover their tracks and get rid of witnesses. Indeed. The whole affair's becoming ever more suspicious. 
Have you any further clues? I found out about another one of them, a crony of Limpy Lubosh's. They call him Riki, and he comes from Ledetsko. You're doing a good job, but you need to be careful. Have you found this Riki fellow? I'm afraid my news isn't good, sir. Hmm. I might have expected as much. Tell me the worst. This Riki fellow was hiding out in the woods, and his former accomplices really did want to kill him, because he, Limpy Lubosh and others deserted them in Neuhof. It seems they wanted no part in the killing. Anyway, Riki told me they were hired by a bandit they call Runt. He's the one who stole your sword. Those murdering whore sons weren't after loot. They just wanted to do damage. And the worst thing is, they have an encampment in the area, and they're getting ready to make more trouble. Sakra. Anything else? That's all I've found out so far, sir. All right. Come back and re... Sir, I've been to Ujits, and the parish priest there is very odd indeed. He's very handy with a sword. Do you know anything about him, sir? Godwin? Aye, an intriguing fellow. He's the youngest son of one of the lords of Kuttenberg. He was sent to the university to become a priest, as is customary with the youngest son. But he didn't much care for it. So when he finished studying, instead of taking up his parish, he went roaming. I imagine he had a pretty adventurous life. And then one day he came back and settled down. Hanush would know more about him. About that encampment, sir. What is it, lad? I found out about the camp from another of the bandits who deserted. He's called Timmy. Big fellow, but more brawn than brain. The camp is an abandoned village in the woods to the west of Townburg. Good work, lad. Have you been to check it out? Do you know how many of them there are? I don't know much apart from where it is. We really need to find out more. Could you go back there and try to discover anything that could help us in the assault? The more we know, the better. And if you could carry out some sabotage while you're in there, it would be invaluable. But don't take any unnecessary risks. I don't want to lose you. Certainly, sir. That is... I'll do what I can. That's what I like to hear. You'll be our eyes and ears, lad. Our success will depend on what you find out. Go, and get back here as soon as you can. Meanwhile, I'll muster my men. I'll find out what I can and be right back. Good luck, then.